nobody has gray beard, so uh, <clears throat> you know life in the material world is a constant change. What is that change? You are hungry, you eat, and then you give a break. You don't you don't keep thinking about your hunger or the food. If the mind says, give me a break, if the mind says, give me a break, you are already in coma. Think. Sometime, sometime we get, you know, faintedness. You know, that is what the mind wants to break. You are already in coma. So to be silent is not giving a break. The journey of the life continues. Hmm? Journey of the life continues. But what I want, I want a permanent happiness. I want a permanent happiness, love and wisdom. It is a continuity. Permanent means continuity. Right? Say yes, you know. So when you say yes, it means there is a departure point, but to become a seeker, arrival point is awakening, but there is no break in between. Did you understand this point? There is no break. You are living continuously. You don't tell your breath, oh, let me give a break. So living continuously means you practiced meditation and after that you are into that state expressing thought, speech and action. It is a conscious living and that conscious living is a joy of conscious living. That is the goal. Did you understand what topic I'm taking up? Uh, so daily living in peace and happiness demands a conscious living. Do you agree? Apply knowledge, practice daily, check the state of mind before, during and after. Start living and applying that knowledge at work, at home, in relations. That only helps us to move from ignorance to wisdom. And we say, okay, I normally people uh, tell me, uh, did you practice uh, meditation? Oh, yes, I practiced it 10 years ago, and now that is why I'm talking to you. But anyhow, I have 10 years of experience in practicing meditation. So I'm not living wisely. I covered that topic last time. I do not live wisely. And I have already covered, do you remember what it means by living wisely? So first thing to living wisely means that I live with thy cause and effect. We drive wisely. We work wisely. We eat wisely. Why don't we live wisely? Because the mind lives in ignorance. So when the mind lives in ignorance, it brings suffering. And then my intellect says, I eat wisely, I sleep wisely, I, uh, I talk wisely, and still I'm suffering. Uh, we covered that cause and effect relationship. So when we understand that cause and effect relationship, when we understand that cause and effect relationship, it is applying discernment to Viveka, it is applying this, this passion. And when you apply that discernment, what happens? The life moves, life moves towards calmness and peace when 24 by 7.
we have to be mindful because we are doing mindfulness. We have to be mindful before, during, and after the practice or receiving the knowledge. How that am I able to drop my anxiety, jealousy, duality, calmness, stays all the time? Do you think that now? Do you experience that you are in a higher state of awareness? Did, do you feel that there is a rise in consciousness? Or do you think that, you know, I increased my bank balance or I have more number, or ah, more influencers on the social media? I'm coming to that. That's why I'm adding that. So ask yourself where you are in a departure point. Why we say remove ignorance and you are awakened. So one of the factors that forces us to live in ignorance we are in kindergarten, but our mind thinks I have done PhD because I've been doing meditation for the last 10 years. 10 years, the time has nothing to do with the mindfulness. Do you understand this point? So I'm in kindergarten, but I think that I'm doing, I'm already in PhD. No, I've been doing it for the last 10 years. Then what? I don't know my departure point. So delusion is there. And that delusion is removed by regular practice with the wisdom. Regular. You continuously listen and learn and understand and remove that ignorance. I'm coming to the main, oh, these are all main topics. Because I live in delusion, do you see that? It's for everyone or everyone who, who claims that I'm young. It is for everyone. So keep that in your mind. I am in kindergarten, but my mind claims I'm in doing the masters. Because I have been doing this practice for so many years, Hence, the delusion is already there. So what happens with this delusion? This is what we are going to understand. For a while, just think and ask yourself what the society demands from us. The moment we are born of a parent, parents say study, get a job, get married, have kids and then they don't say anything because they know one day we have to leave the earth. Huh? They know it. So now if you do not follow what the society means, society means the group, the heart, <coughs> you are given a certificate that you are abnormal. Think in a wider way. Think. What are you doing? I'm studying. If you are almost in a 15, 16, 20 years. And if you are 16 years, what are you doing? I'm doing nothing. Oh, look at this abnormal. The mind instantly thinks. Instantly brands you Oh, uh, there is some problem. Oh, do you have any problem? No, I don't have any problem. I don't feel like studying. So you are a judge. Oh, are you doing any job? No, I'm not doing that, anything. Okay. See that? Now, if you do it, what happens? We have also to understand if you do it, what happens? Are you with me? Yes, yes. Ah, so what Eastern wisdom says, the 
goal of the human life, the purpose of human life is to evolve, awaken, discover peace and happiness within, then do whatever you want to do. Do, do you any career, job, money, marriage, they are secondary. But if the, what the society says is a primary, then what happens? Ninety-nine percent of our talk and the discussion is based on what the society demands from us every day. So every day you practice meditation once a week or twice a week, but the rest time is spent there and the mind gets polluted. Our master says. That by learning Eastern wisdom, we move from the animal mind to the human mind or the human intellect. We rise above that animal mind and its nature, seeking security, happiness, love within. Otherwise, there is no chance. Physics, chemistry, biology, economics do not teach you how to rise into consciousness. But the society says it is abnormal. So we have to understand clearly. <coughs> so what is your arrival point if you follow the society? Well, let us understand clearly. To become Bill Gates, is Bill Gates happy? To become Elon Musk? Maybe to become Beyonce. Think. Or to become Buddha. Thanks God. We do not have a Facebook page of Buddha. Buddha is not trying to be an influencer. So we need not to follow anyone on the social media. Social media society. Now I'm coming to the main point. You have to think every day until your mind is clear. And the Sam will also become clear. Well, he asks beautiful questions. That's why I'm saying. So, question is, do we understand the society hypnotizes us? Do this, study, get a job, career, money, marriage. And at every point in your life, what the society says, you have a lot of challenges, you have, they give you an opportunity to get frustrated, fail, stress. That is the problem our youth, they, they, they go for violence in our country. It doesn't mean that we don't have that youth in our mind. How can I say that? Don't you still want to follow the society? Ask yourself, your thought. Your feeling, your emotions. On, on, and on. Influence, influence, and become an influencer. So it is be, before the social media, there is also an idea to become an influencer. You have four GPA, you are an influencer. Forget about social media for a while. You secured 100% marks, you are an influencer. Within two years, you bought Mercedes, you are an influencer. I'm coming to the main point. I have yet to reach to the main point. Do you see that? 
Do you see in your life? Oh, you married Miss India or you married Mr. India, you are an influencer. Social media was present before, even much before that. You had a big house, influencer. Do you understand that? Oh, you look so young, you know. I know that you are over 70. Influencer. No, do everything. I'm not saying do everything. Now the secret is coming out. You are number one, then what? You know, society cheats, society creates a greater delusion. Oh, you married to Miss India. So when she was Miss India in 2019, 19, no worries, I married Miss India. 2020. Look at this. You have to understand this. Otherwise, the delusion will never go. Are you understanding? Social, this society says Rockefeller was the richest man in US 50 years or 60 years ago in terms of you know and then what they say in terms of the wealth he had 20 million dollar at that time that is equal to 50 billion dollar at this time social media influence social media was already there do you, do you understand i'm coming to yet to i have to come to the main point if you do not understand, if you do not contemplate and think, every day you wake up in the morning and this mind is going to cause one delusion or the other delusion, then you will say, you know, I've been doing the practice and I'm still frustrated. I feel the extreme fatigue. So I'm asking the question that you are number one, then what? Uncover that social delusion from your mind and you are free here and now. You need not to practice any meditation. Is it so? Yes. How come that? So let me cite a couple of examples. You are number one, then what? You continue to fight to retain that status of celebrity. Clear? So you are still struggling after becoming number one to maintain number one. Clear? Okay, go ahead. So you have still to work, fight and struggle. The mind has to compete. It has to live in jealousy. What is happening in the journey of life? What is happening? From where you started, you started in ignorance and delusion. You started in competition and jealousy, and you are still fighting. Until this delusion goes from your head, it is in your mind. We do not succeed in that awakening. I heard recently, last week I heard, this boy started the YouTube channel in India. He had 11,000 influencer, 11,000 views, but he wanted to increase. So three months, his views did not increase. He committed suicide. Have you heard? When the subscribers did not increase, he committed suicide. Miracle is that after he committed suicide, the subscriber, subscribers increased fivefold. 
that is the meaning of social media. I told you, social media was also before there, not now. One example, oh, you, you say, no, that is an exception. Mag Magnus Carlson was a chap, was a chess champion, the world champion from Norway. He was 30. He won all champions for five times, nothing to achieve in life. He does not like the chess now. He said, I'm not going to compete. He went into depression. There is nothing after becoming number one. There is everything after becoming one within. Well, I told a couple of times, you know, becoming number one or uh, being, becoming one with our real self. He won all the champ. Look at the Bobby Fischer. He won the championship in 1976. He denied it to defend. He went into depression. Anatoly Karpov, Beyonce, Selena Gomez. And I'll come to, you know, what uh, Sam asked me the question. Then what, what happens after you become number one? Burnout. The word is burnout. Modern psychology. Burnout means what are the symptoms of burnout? According to WHO, burnout, feeling extreme fatigue not feeling like doing what we are doing, depression, anxiety, addiction. You have seen that, you know, the top, number one. Google out who are the number one or the top in the sports in any field. And then look at their life. Are they happy? Or are they addicted? Or are they burned out? I can tell you this, this litters, the social society litters. It doesn't leave you. Because we are living in the same society, we need to practice it daily, daily, until this mind removes the ignorance completely. It will attack you. You are not an influencer. You have only 10,000. You have bought a house. Now you see the neighbor's house is bigger than you. But you are number one. So you have to create a bigger house. Did you understand that? Burnout. After becoming number one in the society, the society recognizes you are missing Miss World, you are a billionaire. But ultimately, what I'm going to do with after becoming number one? I'm taking a reference of WHO, modern psychology. It says you start with a burnout, feeling extreme fatigue, not feeling like doing what you are doing, depression, anxiety, irritation, addiction. When we don't have money, we don't have a luxury to buy the drugs. <laughs> we don't have a luxury to buy the car, luxury car. But once I have, a means to buy it, what will I do after that? I have 50 cars in my garage. So you have a burnout. I think of it. But at the same time, it does not mean we should not work hard. It also does not mean that we should not be doing work in the society, but we should be doing it, removing these deluded, 
social media influences. So with that understanding, so once if I'm clear, it does not become clear in one day. Burnout will remain. So if the burnout is there, you wake up in the morning, you are feeling tired. I can tell you. There is an extreme sense of fear, frustration, fatigue, anxiety, duality, conflict. It is because of this. Society has already developed a tremendous influence. We call it delusion. You know, there was, uh, I remember, I was reading uh, last year, Simone Weiss, less than 30, gymnast. See, less than 30. She won the championship. She said, I'm extremely tired. I, I, I don't want to be a gymnast now. Can we learn from their experiences? Did I fix my goal clearly? So when I fix my goal clearly, that is the departure point. And then I have to recognize whether that departure point, I'm in kindergarten, but I feel I'm doing the master. Oh, no, I have been doing the practice of meditation for the last 10 years, so hence, I'm already in the master. Teach me something extraordinary. People always talk to me. <laughs> so what is the natural goal of human life? security for survival what is that security outer shelter food clothes car professional needs you should have it. can you say with the clarity confirmation and the proof at least uh, uh brady and uh, sam will agree I'm talking of U.S. now, for the last 15 years, I have recognized and understood clear in this country, in this country, you can earn enough to maintain that security, which is not possible in a uh, majority of the country. And still we have a lot of problems. Where to start? Become aware of life experiences and the challenges. Become aware what we are doing. Where we are going. Become aware if you are relaxed, calm and happy in doing a thing, in thinking, in speaking. Ask if you are not, find out external and internal factors. Analyze how external factors are not responsible for sorrow and the suffering. It is the influence of the society has deluded your mind. So Eastern wisdom teaches us that analyze the cause and effect. Bill Gates, yeah, he has billions of dollars, no problem. Elon Musk, billions of dollars. But then Elon Musk started thinking, what should I do with too much of money? Let me buy the Twitter and become uh, an influencer in the world. <coughs> now he has a problem. He has to shell out a billion dollars as a fine because they did not buy it. Bring it down. <coughs> a lot of money. I bought two cars. Three. So buying as many cars is a sign of burnout. 
think closely that we do not understand uh, and he was saying you know he has you know 50 cars i said very good when he's going to buy the 51st unnecessary until you see that the ignorance that is superimposes the mind is not go you get a lot of money you buy 50 cars there is no problem but you should not have a burnout this burnout can only be removed by eastern west there is no other knowledge Are you clearly understand step by step what is the departure point what is the arrival point so once we clearly understand this departure departure and the arrival point then mind is clear you have a right knowledge and you continue your journey then struggle is a joy Link the struggle to become number one and link your work for joy. There is a hell of difference between the two. You don't burn out. There is no chance to burn out. How long you'll be working? I said, as long as I can speak, I will continue. There is a problem. Why shouldn't I work? Now, now we are retired. So in the retired, you have an element of burnout. Retired. Dead while living. understand it clearly so let us close your eyes close your eyes and be comfortable traditional format eyes are closed sit adjust and line your body and and look at the neck joint be there so even if you are doing a kindergarten class it is your level of awareness makes you jumps to the master's level but we say no i have done this breath awareness i have done this mantra i have done this why the hell you are here no i'm just you know you should be here so so i say close the body is aligned and adjusted and now you look at the neck joint, be there, feel sensation, comfort and steadiness. It comes instantly, even before I complete the instruction. You are already in masters. But then it takes you takes a lot of time. So you can judge where you are. Why should I say? Even if I know it, move the mind on the shoulder joints, be there, feel sensation, comfort, and steadiness. The mind goes to the hip joint. Before I complete, feel the sensation, comfort, and you are already there. And there is a continuity. Did I tell you the same? That is what we discussed, and that is how I translate every practice, what is being discussed, what was discussed before. Entire body from the neck joint to all the joints in your toes, and you have 
an experience of sensation, comfort, and steadiness. Be carefree. Now, you are already carefree. You are in that mode. So you are in master's class. In the same class, one person has achieved the master's level and one person is still in kindergarten. If the thoughts are continuously teasing me, uh, I feel, you know it, what do you feel? That, if we understand this, we are a seeker. So I gave three references, three metaphors, the birds flying in the sky. But I maintain awareness of the sky, whether the birds are moving from the right to left or left to right. The mental traffic. Thoughts are moving from right to left or left to right, up to down. I am aware of that mental space where these thoughts are coming and going on. I'm there. Simple. Does it happen every day? Until awakening, it does not happen every day. I can tell you. That's where I understand when you share your experiences. Now, I should not tell every secret. <coughs> How your mind receives and accepts. So our masters have given the three stages. First is the recitation or reciting or chanting in your mind. Sarvesham swastar bhavatu. Sarvesham swastar bhavatu. Second stage is the meaning. May there be well-being. And the third is the knowledge. Knowledge removes the ignorance and the delusion. What is the knowledge? What is the common point in all of us? Common point is the well-being. We all are seekers of well-being. Can I add one thing? I don't want to be number become number one in the society. Number one, you know, Miss India, Olympiad. Uh, and a long list. Do your work without carrying the baggage of becoming number one, because the common point with all the human beings, that is the message of this mantra. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu Sarvesham shantir bhavatu. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu. May there be peace. Peace is a common point. We all are seekers of the peace. <clears throat> now see another extremely important. It just came to mind. If you live in inner peace, do you become number one? It's a common point. So I share it. In my relationship, I live in peace. That is what is being number one. In my relationship with the people, in the society, in the profession, at workplace. Can you ever burn out? Ask yourself, but I tell you, friends, it takes long time. It's not one day affair. Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu You're chanting. Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu then the meaning, may there be wholeness in all. Wholeness is already there, I have to recognize it. So when I recognize that I am complete in myself, will you run after number one? No. 
if you don't run after number one, is there any chance of a burnout? No. That is the master's degree. You work hard. You continue to do what you do. But now the focus is on the work, creativity. Sarvesham mangalam bhavatu. Sarvesham mangalam bhavatu. Sarvesham mangalam bhavatu. <clears throat> May there be auspicious. So, what is that auspicious? When you combine all the three, the well being, the peace, and the wholeness. You will never say, my time is not good. You will never say, condition is not favorable. You will never say that I have an extreme fatigue. Mind is not ready to accept that. Let us go a little deeper and check, become aware of the entire body from the top of the head to the toes. And you start experiencing tingling, freezing, deepening of the sensation or heaviness or lightness or a sense of bodylessness, bodylessness. If you, you can easily understand where you are. I'm not saying anything. Then look inside the body from the, from the top of the head to the toes and experience the space and the sensation inside, a sense of calmness and quietness is there. And if that is there, in that state of calmness and quietness, you look at the breath. It's a natural flow. There is no change. Mind is not changing the breath. If it is changing, I'm not settled. And there is a continuity of the awareness of the breath. That is what the breath mindfulness is. When you are there. Now see another condition if you are not there. That is why we do something. What we say, you start breathing quick and fast through the chest, keep looking into the cave of your heart, drop on Shanti, keep your body in the state of sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Just start breathing quick, short, gentle breath. You see that when we do this, so now we are educating the mind. So, but our level of awareness has gone up. <clears throat> We are able to maintain the sensation, relaxation, and stillness. We are able to drop on Shanti gently while breathing quick and fast. That is the key element where we are doing the active step and uh, still 
the mind says, I don't want to leave that state of calmness. But sometime it disturbs, it goes to the breath, it goes to Om Shanti, it goes to the body alternatively. No, simultaneously. And the moment you are simultaneous in this step, the mind is already living deeper with it. And now stop this, do nothing. We have already understood the physical body, become aware of the physical body from the top to the toe. You can move the mind a couple of times, but every time you move, the mind supports with its awareness and you go into a deeper experience of sensation. And that sensation may be a variety of types, it's okay. And uh, relaxation is very deep. And stillness, so you have first the relaxation, then you find the stillness, then you find the calmness when you look inside. That mind is not tempting your body to go out. So when it withdraws, there is an instant calmness and quietness. In that state, look at the breath. Natural flow, no change. And your mind says, I can keep the breath awareness for a longer time. What do you experience? You are fairly settled. You can go even a little deeper. You look at uh, behind and beyond the breath. There is a sense of uh, sense of sense of the space. Your awareness of the infinite space. Thoughts are feeling images are coming and going, but they are not disturbing you. So that may be a state of calmness or quietness. How do you know that? In calmness, some thought takes you away, and then you return again. So at least you return to the calmness. In quietness, that does not happen. You feel, you know, you discover the thoughts are too far to disturb you. Inner calm and the quiet. That is what is known as the inner calmness and quiet. So again, you are settled, we can understand this being settled in degree and in quality. That is what I was talking, uh, the masters or the kindergarten. So knowledge, knowledge we analyze, even non-verbal analysis continues. <laughs> Physical body, 
move the mind as slow as possible on the entire body. And as you move slowly, gently, you will find the mind says, no, move it faster. So that gives us an understanding that where my mind is. And you experience sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Then you are aware of the breath. Natural, no change. And the mind says, no, okay, I'm settled. That is what the breath mindfulness. It takes long time to reach to that state of breath mindfulness. Simply saying focus on the breath, uh, that doesn't work. And the people are right. From there, they got an idea. Five minutes of breath, focus on the breath. Yes, you get a little bit of relaxation, no doubt about it. But when we talk of mindfulness, that is totally different. OK, now look beyond the breath. So now, just in understand calmness and quietness, with reference to the thought, feeling, images, they are coming and going, let them come and go. Traffic is moving. <clears throat> so I told you, the first is the relaxation and stillness prevents the mind to go out. But still, the mind continues to wander on the thought, feeling, and the sensation. But uh, the mind returns easily to the state of calmness, being settled. And in the state of the quietness, this mind, we can see, we become a knower that these thought, feelings, sensation, all of our experiences are too far <clears throat> from where we are. So when we know that, you know means you are a knower. You are not carried away by an experience. And in that state, move the mind on a triangle inside your forehead. We'll follow that step. You visualize the equilateral triangle inside your forehead. Now, because the mind is free, I can move this mind on an equilateral triangle, maybe clockwise or anti clockwise. So you move it a couple of times, then bring the mind at the center of a triangle. From there, you start reciting mentally, you moving the mind into the cave of your heart. In that cave of your heart, Shanti. Do you remember I told you that you will become, mind seemingly appears stopped. Wonderful state. And seemingly, that seemingly stops is what? We'll open the gateway to the meditation seemingly so it is the intellect will come to know clearly what it will know 
Here is the knower, here is the real self, and here is the not self. So if you find seemingly stops, do nothing. So you are in the state of nothingness. Have you ever contemplated when you do nothing, you are already into the state of nothingness? Doing nothing doesn't mean that you have stopped uh, uh, doing the external activities, the physical. No, it has to do with the mental, it has to do with emotional. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand. Last time, did you do you remember what I said? Bring your mind on the left hand. Lift your both the palms. Place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside the palms. Know your experiences. Bring the hands down. How are you, Samir? Sir, it was very deep, very dark, and totally following your instruction and flowing in the flow. It was. I'm totally relaxed. Beautiful. Wonderful. How are you, Brandy? Morning. Thank you. 
Um, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm in this stage right now where I need all the steps, but once I go through all the steps, I definitely get to a really nice, restful, peaceful place. Peaceful, yes. That's beautiful. Don't allow what we discussed. How are you, Sam? Good. Um, body was a little bit heavier today, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Did you understand the burnout? Yes. Yes, it starts. From, <laughs> <laughs> it starts from the day we are born. Parents, school, society, friends, long list. Everywhere. It's not uh, here in US, it's everywhere. But it is damn difficult to understand one, and it is damn difficult to make others understand. How are you, Rakesh? Thank you. So it was <clears throat> sorry. Uh, it was very quiet. Separateness was there. I was separate from anything, and very deep, right. very deep, and very quiet. Good, wonderful. See that you sit and contemplate every day and recognize uh, how the society is pulling us. And you drop that. Every day. It's everyday work. It's not one day. It takes time. How are you, Vaibhav? Sir, it was quite peaceful. Beautiful. You know, I can tell you that when we understand the society becoming number one results into burnout, first time when we listen and the mind says, yeah, it makes a sense. So our practice is very good. But the next day, I have to check. Next day after, I have to check. Weekly, I have to check whether I live into the higher awareness or not. Otherwise, this mind is going to... Are you anesthesia? Thank you. I'm very quiet. It was very quiet and uh, deep. And um, uh, I, I have noticed that I started to feel in daily life like in a childhood very early childhood when your mind is uh, yet quiet and you are absorbed so the same feeling i had in this meditation very absorbed very absorbed very good very absorbed perhaps you know that spontaneity was there in the childhood you know in the Spontaneous means the society is not dictating. It's so simple to understand. Because we were born. So we were just kids. So the society is not deluding us. But gradually, days and weeks passes. We are our mom, our dad, our siblings, and our friends, and then our education. We don't educate kids who you are. And that is in every society. So that's why you have a different level of influence. So are you sure? Namaste, sir. Namaste, sir. <laughs> All good, sir. Peaceful, calm. Peaceful, calm. Very good. You have a beautiful background. You all have a beautiful. So understand, my friends. I, not warning, but just a, when we listen this knowledge that we discussed today about burnout, about departure and arrival point, 
it uh, convinces the mind. But the next day, the mind starts seeking the same thing that subconsciously and habitually. I can tell you. Everyone felt more or less the calm and deep and absorbed. So it is because of the talk, and we discussed about this departure and arrival point. But the next time, next day, next hour, the mind returns to the same stuff again. In order to filter out, we have to do the practice daily. We have to listen to it. We have to maintain awareness. Sam, did you understand? Uh, and, uh, he posed a couple of questions, so I said, uh, let me combine the, these two things so that, you know, my intellect opens up and it lays into that state. So that is all for today. Thank you very much all for tolerating me. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.